Hi everybody, these are some directions for our syringes lab we're going to do today. And really the biggest part of this direction is the safety of my syringes. Uh, they need to not be misused in the slightest bit and there's some easy things to avoid. We're going to be putting some things in these syringes and we're going to be testing them in order to try and make some inferences about what the atoms and molecules in these substances must look like. Now a couple of things with this, this little part that moves up and down we'll call the piston or the plunger, either way. And what you can see, and I don't know why they do this, it drives me crazy, but you can see it's got this little spot that's kind of gouged in there, and it's like that on every side. The reason I don't like it is that's a very breakable point on these syringes. If you're misusing these at all, it's gonna bend right there, and I am not gonna be happy, and you aren't gonna be happy because you will no longer be in the room. And I love to keep all of you here. Anyway, it's really easy to uh, avoid damaging these. The number one way to make sure you're not damaging them is never put any pressure on the plunger until that part of it is well inside. The second thing I should never, ever see is anybody torquing these, meaning pushing on them with the heel of their hand and trying to push as hard as they can because they will break and that is not a needed observation at all. So that's our break point really easy to avoid problems with that. Now in our syringe activity, one of the things we're gonna do is put a ball bearing in there and we're gonna run the plunger right up to where it stops and get that ball bearing right in the bottom. And then we're just going to push on the plunger and get a feel for what we feel, basically. Then after that, and here's the dangerous one that you also don't wanna mess up on, then we're gonna fill it with about an equal amount of water. And the way you do that is you collapse your syringe all the way, and then you pull a little bit of water in. Nobody should have more water than about right there. And the way you can see, there's a big air bubble in there right now, and we need to get rid of it. And all you have to do to do that, that's kind of hard to see on the camera, but is flip up your syringe and just push it a little bit and that air will bleed right out, which you just saw it do. And you don't want to do it much. Now we've got that. Now this time around, you're going to be putting your finger over this and you're going to be pushing on the plunger to see what that water feels like when we basically try and squeeze it. Now I've got to make fair warning here, guys. These things make killer squirt guns. And if anybody has an accidental squirt of water, I'm going to accidentally ask you to leave because that's very easy to avoid. And I want to tell you right now, they do make great squirt guns, but if they're used that way in class, uh, you won't be sticking around. Once again, I want to keep all of you here. Okay. And then the third one is easiest because I say we're not going to put anything in it, but we really are. We're going to pull it back to about the same area that we had with both the marble and the water. And we're gonna put our finger over it once again like we did with the water. And we're now gonna push and we're gonna see what that air feels like that's in there. So the syringe is filled with something every time. One time the marble, one time the water, and one time the air. And what we want you to do is by the feel of how this feels when you push this in, what are some <coughs> statements we can make or infer about what the atoms that we can't see must be doing. And that's it. Have a good time with the syringes.